Welcome to Swiss Cheese Trails where I'm hiking across Switzerland on the Swiss Alpine Panorama Trail. This morning we're passing the Ara River which goes through Bern to the north of me and south. The next city is Thun and then after that we get to the Jungfrau region which is the mountains that we're looking at. So subscribe, tune in and walk with me in 360 degree video as I cross the country. All Switzerland. right, welcome to Swiss Cheese Trails. We are on another day, another hike. This is section 17 of the Swiss Alpine Panorama Trail. We are going from Münzingen, where we left off on stage 16, to Rigesberg. I'm looking down because I'm trying to get the pronunciation correct. Uh, we have a long day ahead of us. It's uh, only about 19 kilometers, but it's gonna take six hours because there is over 3,000 feet of ascent ahead of us. Starting with this climb over this hill here, so we climb over the hill and come down into the next town, which is at the same level. So we're just going up and down. And then we go up. And we go up and up and up because we are going to start heading south and get into these Alps. Uh, the Bernese Oberlin, you're looking at them now. So excited we got a clear day. This is really the Jungfrau area straight ahead. Uh, that's probably Eiger right in front of us. Uh, I haven't really checked out the peaks to confirm that, but we're looking straight south into the heart of the Bernese Oberlin. Let's knock this hike out. Let's get going. I'm going to do some film up top when we get into the farm area and uh, the meadows that are on top of this hill. I hope you've enjoyed your time on the Ara River. I have. I like the Ara River, and you know, as a quick reminder, so the Ara flows north, the Rus through Lucerne that we passed, and the Limet, which goes through Zurich, which starts up at, uh, well, that combines in Zurich with the Seal River. The Seal River starts up in Einsiedeln, up at Lake Seal. So we've seen these three rivers here, and they converge. Uh, uh, they've converged north of here, sorry, uh, at the Rhine River and create the Rhine and continue to, to move up. All right, well, I don't know how high we've come, but you can see the valleys below there. So again, that's the Aura Valley. We're looking south toward the Bernese Overland. And you can see the mountains. Hopefully those clouds will stay away, but the reason I turned on here is this farmland. Remember Swiss cheese trails, part of my goal is to really kind of understand the culture from the agriculture because I believe that food is one way to really kind of understand a culture. And um, these fields, this mountain that we're on is known for its onion production. And we're up on a plateau burn is directly behind the camera but what's in front of the camera aside from just a beautiful farm and of course more onion fields is the uh three peak mountain of jungfrau monoch and eiger right here now the clouds are going to come in a little bit more as the day goes on so i'm going to try to get as many shots as i can well, this is a pretty good view. I, you know, I said in the beginning video, I really waited to hold off this hike until we had weather where we could have this view. I'm very happy about that. So we're looking straight back, or you're looking straight back, south, uh, over Thun, Interlaken, Grindelwald, uh, back to Jungfrau and Eiger. So that's kind of the heart of where you're looking right now. So then it goes where we go from here, you know, I've only been hiking for about three miles, a little over three miles. Uh, and we got about 12 miles in total, so not very far. And I got a long day ahead of me still. Thankfully, it is uh, just before noon, so I got some time still. But uh, I'm going to be hiking back over that ridge line down into the valley, which is at the same altitude as uh, where we came from, Munsingen. Uh, there's this town called Tolfen or Tolfen. Uh, and we're gonna go through there, I'll get some food, and then we go back up 
another how high have we gotten we're at 1200 feet now i have uh, probably be at 15 1600 feet yeah so we're gonna do this twice uh that's the joy of this hike we got about 3000 feet so uh after uh, Tuffin, uh, we go back up over some ridges and i think we're going to be down kind of well you can't really see it but at the beginning of the cloud where the clouds kind of pop up uh, behind the trees and that's where we're going to end the day uh it's pretty secluded we got to take a bus out of the valley this is the Tuffin valley i don't know what river is going through here but there's obviously a river and this is a pretty neat area there's a train that's going through in Espan so if you're interested in just coming here you can get here from Bern pretty easily and then just keep heading mm. boy oh boy that is some good views look at this town so this is another one of those towns that just sort of goes back like you know 2500 years before the Romans during the Romans after the Romans so imagine the 15 people that lived here 30 people that lived here you'd have kind of everything you need I assume there's a little bit more forest but you got the river you got some protection if this was open you'd have grazing herds still had wolves and bears I, I hope you recall that uh, most of the bears have been hunted out of Europe so when you're hiking and camping and whatnot you really don't need to worry about bears welcome back to Swiss cheese trails we are on top of the next plateau well, almost and I turned on because we have a great view of this island mountain that we just came across and if you look down here you can see I mean this is it starts there it shoots up goes across and then shoots down so that's what separates the valley of Tofen from the valley where we started the uh, Ari River Valley and we came up and through that town where you see the little red roofs so we are above that looking at the mountains having some great film came through that town walk down and I'm again you know up another almost a thousand feet over the valley sure. hello and welcome back I'm about mm, four and a half hours in and here we are with this great view and it's just gonna get much better up here I uh, just stopped for my lunch break I hope I don't have any cheese or bread still on my face uh, and, but I made my break about half as long as I <laughs> normally would because I've been watching this storm cloud grow up and boy oh boy that is a big cloud now it's not supposed to rain and I only have like an hour or a half left or so but you're in the mountain I'm in the mountains like you know weather changes and that one looks like it could be a little wet that is Lake Toon down there this is a view I've never dreamed of yeah I guess a couple of days ago on this section 17 I thought that the best view was back on that hill over behind me here but we couldn't see the lake and now we get to see the mountains and the lake and the dramatic storm clouds we got everything going here wow all right so Toon Lake goes around a little bit around that curve there and then you get into Interlaken and as I mentioned Grindelwald and Lauterbrunnen all the great places to be in the Jungfrau region in view from here okay uh, we're gonna finish up section 17 
town I think is that far village there where the bus is going to be and what a great view so I'm at uh, well I will be at in six hours at least six hours and 15 minutes I think something like that and at least 12 miles probably 12 and a half when I'm done uh, I just checked it is I, I am 3,000 feet in elevation and so that's a pretty good day <laughs> and to end it with this view just look at these sheer drop-offs in the meantime we got another great looking Swiss farm all right have a great day all right, let's hope the battery holds out for a second. This is Rügesberg, and all the architecture is just like this. All up and down the street. Let's see if we can get some more of these buildings. Really fascinating. Just all these buildings are the same kind of architecture. So I hope you enjoy that. I had to turn back on just to, to get these buildings and that view.